Bunty Killer did a song with Jashi, right? Now, Jashi is a, I love him very much. He's a, one of our very budding potential superstars out of this country, if the same mentorship that you're speaking of is, is, is carried out. Now, the song that Bunty Killer did with Jashi is a very serious gun song. Can't go them in no feel like work. Gangsta no go under in no concert. So the badness go that I know your concert. Who can hear how we go feel for the blood? Hear me ask man, vice a shaver a talk, you know. I'm here represent for Uno Moko General Entertainment, you see? The biggest and the body slogger right now. So for all of the latest and the toughest set of reviews, there's no bias and no bumbo club guarantee. Let's link up Uno Moko General Entertainment. Hear me ask like, share and subscribe. You know the We don't like them. We as we don't like them. Wagwan viewers, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a fresh new update. So viewers, if you do it, subscribe, please do so right away. And also hit that like button and, and drop your honest opinion in that comment section. So viewers and subs, Queen I freak a forward out and send a message directly to Bunty Killer and Joshi based off a recent conference that the Queen I Freak recently attended in Montego Bay and base. Basically, them really that talk about music and everything like that pertaining to reggae, dancehall, and the nowadays happenings of dancehall. So, viewers, we have that to come up in the update. And also, MC Nuffy followed out and burned a wicked, wicked fire from whosoever a fight chop dancehall out there. You don't know who a fight chop dancehall and who don't like it. So, viewers, check this out. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And remember to share the family member or a close friend. Recently, I had an interview and I was asked. You know, at the very thing about the artist who is here before and those coming up. Bunty Killer did a song with Jashi, right? Now, Jashi is a, I love him very much. He's a, one of our very budding potential superstars out of this country, if the same mentorship that you're speaking of is, is, is carried out. Now, the song that Bunty Killer did with Jashi is a very serious gun song, right? And while we're just talking about the right for freedom of speech, the right to express true music, the right to be who you are as an artistic person, I was bothered by it as a fellow artist myself. But as the song is, the song very nice, it's very catchy, you know, the youths are onto it. But we are here today because of the level of violence that we're seeing played out amongst our young people in particular. And now if Jashi is coming as a little youth, who for the most part did not come into the business with gun lyrics, let me put that out there plain and clear, is a little youth I was talking about, that he's talking about elevating himself, coming out of the inner city, making his mommy rich, making his family rich, not just doing crime and doing that. He, if you listen to the songs that this little youth is trying to do, those are the things that's, that's, that's what he's essentially trying to say. So I was to Bunty Killer that... As much as I love you and the fact that you have introduced so many great artists into the space, we can name them all, now you're getting like a grandfather role now. These are great grandchildren that you have now dealing with. We're saying change the strategy a little. Do a little, not even necessarily a cultural song, but do a song that is saying to the youths like Jashi, to the, to the ones that are bigger like you, who Jashi is maybe influenced by that age group, say, let's, let's change now how we speak to, our, to each other in music so that Bunty now can have the opportunity to say, I let you Vibes Cartel, I let you Mavado, I let you Adoni, I let you all of these youths, and I, and I made them do what they wanted to do. Now, as an elder in the industry, I'm saying to you, Jashi, that as much as you have the right to be, cult, to be lyrical and to do all you want to do, let's try to do some of these songs that will elevate your peers' minds so that they don't feel like chopping is the only way out or the guard rings or that kind of a mindset. And we don't have artists who are willing to 
take that seriously. The mentorship is not, because a lot of these youths want to come to some of us as elders, but some of us as elders are not approachable. We feel like we've been there, we've done that, we've bigger ready the whole world, no way, and you just need to work on your thing, get your own foot in, and if it work out, oh, it work out. We have a lot of responsibility where a lot of our elder artists are concerned. I try to reach out to all of these youths. I have all of them numbers in my phone, and I'm trying now to set up a meeting with them so that I can help them to understand that. See vibes them, they see, see, see Tamil them, they, they are in jail. You know what I mean? And we don't know the real reasons why they are there, but they are still very influential even though they are in there. So let's look at what we are doing wrong in the industry and really try to get to these youths who really look up to us the way they do and, and that's the only way out. Viewer subscribers, that was Queen Africa, yes, mm -hmm. and she have a strong point in her because what? Me if I would hear so for tell us, so yeah, I agree with her because what? All of these veteran artists need to start be a mentor to all of them young artists because what? However, at certain things with them see even the all a set of artists are the middle set of artists them so to speak because you have the older set and you have the set will come after the older set them and now you have the young set so in other words are the other artists them actually all the artists them so to speak actually set the ground rules and set certain standard and none never did it as man said none never really did it for begin with because for certain people in a dance hall nah set no standard certain people in a reggae will set standards as man said because what they might live up to certain liberty like some rasta culture and some rasta vibration were constantly ox as man said ask for help the youth and actually push out themselves out there for help the youth. You see Because what? Realistically, the Rasta music and the Rasta culture is there. You see say? But I know every youth want to run down this because what? Some of the people them unapproachable artists, so to speak, unapproachable. You see them feel like them depend too much hype. So of course the youth them feel a way. You see So them are good as forward and do what them know best. Matter of fact, the what cartel and what down here them do. You see what And what? Go for them and do. You see So basically, them are follow Oh, Who been do the chop song them and all of them type of dance hall and dance hall for the females and only for the females and left out the authentic reggae. So of course, you see what So if you are subscribers, if you agree with Queen Africa, drop it in the comment section right there. So a member for like, share and subscribe. Subscribe if you haven't done so as yet. And remember, you know, over here, so you get the latest, you know. So, right about now, I'm going to share a small video of MC Nuffy burning a wicked fire. Viewers, me leave, I'm going to tell you where my burn fire pan. Just check out this video right away. And remember, you know, drop your honest opinion in the comment section. Um, see the youth, them a lockdown show there. Sting a lockdown show, Skilly Bang a lockdown show, Josh a lockdown show. My friend, and all of them look at you there. The youth, them a lockdown, they show them. He now go, right away now go run in for America accept them thing as owner oh, no one if they accept trap dance hall. Low the youth make the youth them live. The, the old people and young people can live together. The old of folks them who must have an understanding say things and time change. It now go be the same. Love the youth them music and show the youth them love. And embrace them and mix the trap dance hall with the dance hall and stop both. People are changing. Oh, oh, what? Wow. He did the rock steady and ski. I see him dance all everything did there, you know. We reggae did there, you know, dance all. Hey, we have some rascal clad people where them go on like say, it's the same phone where them did have used before. Uh, uh, about 10 years ago, it's the same phone them using today. No! It's not the same phone they're using today. Things and time have changed. You're not driving the same car. I'm not driving the same car today. That I usually drive before. You see me in Abens the other day. This look where you see me in today. Alright. So try to find out. Move with the time. Cause I'm moving. Else it's going to move left, you know. <laughs> you may want to know. 